This is a Voodoo 2, a 3D accelerator from the glory days of 3D gaming. And this is a PCI to PCI Express adapter. Can I use this to connect this into a modern PC? Let's find out. Because the Voodoo is a full height card, it's going to be too tall to mount in the normal vertical way. So instead, what I'm planning to do is mount the card up here, horizontally. And I've got this PCI Express extension cable to help me. Let's give it a try. One eternity later. Right, the Voodoo is properly mounted and I've got the power cabling connected. Taking a look from the back, I've got the Voodoo fitted into this extra expansion slot in the case. So these are the PCI Express slots and I fitted the Voodoo just above. There's just enough space to fit a VGA cable through the gap. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Time to look at drivers. Initially, this looked very positive. The Voodoo appeared in the device manager as a multimedia video adapter, which is good news. But none of the Voodoo drivers worked. Nothing would install on Windows 10, and I think it's because it's a 64-bit OS. After a lot of trial and error, I was able to find a breakthrough. From the 3DFX Zone forum, I found a driver that potentially enables you to run glide-based games with a 3DFX Voodoo 2 card on x64 editions of Windows, including, and most importantly, Windows 10. This looked very promising, but there was another snag. Windows 10 requires verified drivers, and these unverified drivers would not go on. After some more sleuthing, I was able to find a path. Restarting Windows into the Advanced Startup menu allows you to disable driver signing. After I did this, the drivers would install, albeit with a scary, do you really know what you're doing, prompt. With the drivers on, I needed a 3DFX demo to test. I downloaded this donut demo and failure. The Voodoo would not initialize with error trying to map memory. After some searching, I found another 3DFX zone post that looked promising. A Windows 2000 and Windows XP fix for the map mem error. I downloaded the XP version and success! Honestly, I wasn't expecting this to work. So we're all on the same page. This is native glide running on real 3DFX hardware running on Windows 10. Or to put it another way, this is 90s hardware running on a 2020s PC. I think it's quite impressive. Next up, I tried Quake 2. Amazingly, the Steam version of Quake 2 still has 3DFX support, and after toggling the video mode, the Voodoo sprang to life again. Running a time demo, the Voodoo is still a speedy thing averaging 57.6 frames per second, and I think it would go faster if I was able to force VSync off. Not bad for 1998 hardware. After this, I disappeared into 90s nostalgia. I was still a little giddy from seeing this old hardware run again. Is there anything you'd like to see running on the Voodoo? Make your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please consider a subscribe and stay tuned for more retro revelations. Enjoy!